أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم أتي الله أتي الرسول وأول الأمر منكم and always a reminder for myself and عبدك العجي صدعيف ومسكين وظالم الجهل and but for the grace of Allah زوجاز رحمة that we're still in existence and from these majlis of, of heavenly associations always a reminder that the most powerful associations and most needed associations in the last days are these Salli Ala Nabi The associations in which they gather to listen and to join within the praises of the heavens. Praising Allah and Allah's most beloved Sayyidina Muhammad and dhikrullah that people whom listen to in their homes, attend the majlis of zikr, participate, have an immense reality being dressed upon them. And the reason they teach by understandings of energy because it destroys the barriers of ignorance and dogma. That in these days where people are at a level of their vibration, their energy, their understanding been brought down with what they hear, with what they see, with what they feel, with everything of dunya is designed to bring their vibration, their frequency, their inner zikr, the light of their soul is a determined by the quality of their internal zikr. And shaitan wants to bring the frequency of insan down. When their frequency is up, the shaitans burn. The angelic frequencies, the heavenly frequencies put a light upon the soul. This is the study of quantum. This is the study of light, that for that light to exist it's an energy, that energy to exist has a, a praise, a string theory of vibration. So shaitan knows the system, knows that the soul that emanates with too much light burns their beings because Allah says, when the truth comes. As Salaamu Alaikum Warahmatullahi Wabarakatuh This is Shaykh Nurjan, thank you for watching the video that you're watching. InshaAllah if you're happy with the content and happy with these programs, please support the button below the programs that we have for our orphanage repairs, our water well, give the gift of life, our mobile food vans. We have now five vans, Vancouver, Chicago, Los Angeles, Pakistan many programs that reach thousands of people and rescue foods and give those supplies to people in need. Your support is greatly appreciated. Also be so kind as to leave uh, loving comments and please share the stream. Every bit counts. As Salaamu Alaikum Warahmatullahi Wabarakatuh The falsehood perishes and falsehood by its nature zahukan that tell your people, قُلْ جَعَلْ حَقْ that when the truth comes, the truth means heavenly vibrations, whether within the angels, the prophets and within the heavenly kingdom. When the vibration is high, the lights are, are glowing and heated, Allah says, those vibrations and the lower vibrations they don't come together and sit. They don't coexist. The nature of energy and the high vibration shatters everything negative because negative has no foundation to hold itself. Zahukan Allah is then giving to us in this understanding that it will shatter. You merely build your light and anywhere you go that light begins to shatter everything false. If you're borderline then you have very little effect on the negative energy, it basically can tolerate you. If you elevate your light 
through whatever Allah has sent for us of instruction, wash to protect your soul. Pray to empower your soul and to deposit all the negativities, grounding and putting your head in sujood. It grounds all of the badness and energizes and charges fast so that you can build your energy and conquer the shaitan moving within your blood and within your body. Means that everything that Allah brought for us and Sayyidina Muhammad brought for us, now they can understand it based on energy. We're at a place in which the, the understanding of humanity, they can understand the what's the in math the common denominator that instead of fighting about the interpretation of words and the dogma, the common denominator to solve this problem is energy. Whatever religion you think you are, the common denominator to solve our difference is energy. What do you think you're doing to build your energy or whatever you're doing is it destroying your energy? So in last days to raise the vibration of people, these majlises that are conducted out of love and extra, extraordinary worship. They did what was required and what was mandatory, they did their salah, they did what Allah asked for them. These are then the associations of the expression of love in which Allah grants them by no intention. As we described love can't be judged by intention, love is based on the ishq. And when you come for the intention of love, these are then circles and portals of paradise. And why the Hadith Al-Qudsi describes that the circles of paradise, if you see them, sit and stay with them, eat and drink from them. And then the whole description of that portal that the angels are praising all the way to Arshul Rahman and that anyone sitting in those portals and in those lights and in their homes where those portals are opening, the zikrs are opening, they're being dressed by the blessings all the way from the throne of Ar Rahman to wherever they are. And that Allah is taking all of the difficulties and the badness or bad energies and bad character all the way is being lifted up off of them. And the angels ask, but there's one who's not from among them and that's why the lesson is in love. That Allah is explaining to the angels, no there's so much blessings in this association. It doesn't matter who's sitting with them what their intention is, I'm dressing them, blessing them and lifting from them their difficulties because love doesn't need an intention, they're coming for love. And Allah grants even the smallest mustard seed of love to be dressed by these blessings. So that's why in the last days these are the most powerful associations. These are the associations in which if there's somebody whom their frequency is very high, what we would call shaykhs and guides, in which they not self-proclaimed that they call themselves that, but in which their life was a training. And they were trained, they were sent into seclusions, they were trained on building their energy, they were trained on lowering and destroying the lower vibrations. And as a result they come out certified that they've been trained and as a result they've been certified for guidance. And with that one attending then is raising the vibration of the entire majlis. So the recitation comes and brings out an energy but because the presence of the guide and when the guide is present in the association it's his soul that comes out whether you're physical or at a distance, it doesn't make a difference because the power of the soul is faster than the speed of thought. 
that as soon as you attend their association, you make intention into that association, you begin to play those salawats and nasheeds with the presence of that shaykh is present in that association, immediately the soul of the shaykh is present in all of those associations wherever they're partaking. And that the shaykh operates from his wave reality. And as a result Allah describes them one of the understandings from Surat Al Yaseen, Fuluq Al Mashkhoon, that these are loaded ships because the soul in this understanding is a ship. And Allah describes that they are loaded ships, means loaded with energies and voltage and, and immense lights. And as a result these lights come and they grab the lights of everyone in the associations. And as a result of the praisings and the energy and the vibrations and the frequencies they're being raised. The lights are being raised, means that this gift and this reality of guidance is not something that people can achieve. That if they think their salah is going to do the same, no because kunu amalun bin niyat, salah has to be judged. So if some people say, oh Shaykh it's only I do my salah is enough for me. No, salah is you, was mandatory, was, was ordered Allah you have to do. But the gift is not in the mandatory, the gift of love and the proof of love is in the extraordinary, right? Somebody gives you mandatory thing, you, you do mandatory. Without the expectation that my reward lies within the mandatory, but the expression of love is what's empowering. So when you do the mandatory everything has to be judged. Well, let, let's see what your intention was. And then you have to go through the process of judgment. So only Allah come into our lives and say, do everything that's mandatory 100% but don't bank on that. Don't put your, 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 your whole life on what was mandatory, the Ya Rabbi negate that before Allah negates it. Say, I don't know how you're going to judge but I can probably tell you it's not going to be good and I'm not counting on all those mandatory but Ya Rabbi I'm asking that you judge me based on that love. That on the actions I did of ishq and muhabbat and the love for Sayyidina Muhammad that grant me the rewards of those associations, of those actions. They, get, they went out and gave water, they gave food, they, they sat for a majlis of zikr and, and, and salawat al Nabi Those are the actions that have tremendous reward with Divinely Presence. And that's why the importance in the last days so much of the zikrullah, the salli ala nabi, these association because it can lift the energy and the vibration of people. And if they do this on a weekly basis means that throughout the week their entire lives and our entire lives are being bombarded. You wake up Monday. What happens? Everything you heard, you hear, every experience you have at work, every interaction you have with humanity now is rigged to bring your vibration down. Many can barely survive the day by the time they go home, their eyes are red, they're tired and fatigued. Whatever energy they thought they had, by the end of the day it's been depleted. But then the majlis and the associations, again whether live or, or online, these are heavenly batteries, heavenly charging stations. If the car needs to be charged, and you saw the car when it runs out of its charge, you can't even push it, it just locks in the middle of the street. And it's a symbol for people. That if you run your charge out and you run the battery out, shaitan will attack you, will completely overtake you and before you know it you're making all the wrong choices, eating all the wrong foods, thinking all the wrong thoughts. And that's shaitan, that's the negative energy that overtakes people, makes them to harm themselves. 
Look now they, they, they legalize all the forbiddens on earth so that what? To destroy all the children who will now stop anywhere along the road and pick up things that they think are legal. And those are legal ways of killing themselves. So means this dunya is geared now for the destruction of insan. And it's our responsibility to save insan. And the majlis is a beautiful expression of that reality in which it's enjoyable, peaceful, they feel the tranquility, they feel the love and as a result immense realities are partaking. It's not entertainment, as soon as they sit wherever they're sitting their lights are being lifted. These are ships that are from paradise. Within an instant the souls of these shaykhs are out and lifting everyone to their association. That their souls are always in the presence of Sayyidina Muhammad And that was the concept of the fuluq. And Allah describes that we have the fuluqul mashkhoon and we created those that are like them. Means there are big super ships that load all of these realities and all these passengers upon them. And they're the smaller ships that go out and they ferry back and forth and they bring people back into the super ships. And those ships in an instant are moving into Divinely Presence. And this is a reality of light, this is the reality of the hadith that we talked about of love. You be with whom you love. One is a bond within your heart and now for malakut when Prophet describes, you be with whom you love. The higher is the soul, that if your soul establishes a love, what we call reverence and respect, so that to keep always the respect of this love it's a reverence and a respect for these shaykhs and for the representatives of Sayyidina Muhammad what happens? Your soul bonds with them, not your brain. They don't want anything to do with your brain. They don't need to convince you from your brain that you agree, you don't agree. All they ask is just open your heart, enjoy the association. Your soul knows what to do, not your nafs. The soul immediately remembers paradise in their associations. When it hears these nasheeds and sees these figures, the soul knows, the soul is not ignorant, knows that these are from paradise, this is from our homeland. Like a camel that was in a desert that I didn't, we haven't seen any of this in a long time. And that's why when children look at the shaykhs they're smiling. Because they just came from paradise, they were just with them. Means that it has an immense reality and as soon as your heart opens it bonds and locks with them. And since they are in a continuous mirage into the presence of whom they love, into the presence of their shaykhs and their shaykhs and their shaykhs and their shaykhs are always in the presence of Sayyidina Muhammad and the Ruhaniyat and Nabi and this is the majlis of Sayyidina Muhammad So all those ships they brought with them who they love, they carry you in their heart. That's when Allah describes you sharing the good. So it means that somebody whom loves you if they're good and their actions are good and that you see their actions and their teaching, both action and teachings are good, you want to be in their heart and in their associations. And the same is that you don't want to be in the heart of those whom do bad, in which the bad love you and they carry you with their heart because why would they want to carry a pious person? They don't. They carry those whom are of a similar badness. And they carry each other into difficulty and torment. And this is an immense reality of the soul that Allah gave an immensely easy way to reach realities. 
is that open your heart for the love of Sayyidina Muhammad and those whom love that reality. And they teach through good character, through good manners and a faith that has to be in action. That they have to walk the walk and talk the talk, they have to have good deeds. They cannot sit and just claim to be good but we have to make our faith to be real and as a result the heart opens and the souls keep the companionship in that association. And wherever that light is going those souls are being carried in that mirage into that presence. And as a result of that whatever that shaykh's being dressed by of realities that dress is trickling down to all those in that fuluq, that's why mashhoon that they're loaded. Because whatever energies are coming upon them it's but just an atom of you that's necessary. They take one atom of your reality and it grafts onto their reality. Whatever Allah dress upon their soul it grafts and dresses that one atom and they know in their quantum theory that that one atom communicates with all your atoms. That your one atom communicates with the entire source. With all this information is being sent doesn't need the whole of you, right? They split the atom and they understood through how they have their testing devices that it's split into three and they said, these three are communicating simultaneously. So it has its communication because it has its own haqqaiqs, of course it has to be, that you can never break them. So it means it's enough just one atom to attach to, to, to someone who's ashiqeen and muhibbeen then whatever they're being dressed by, they're dressing all those atoms. That atom then comes back and dresses the entirety of the person. And that's why for barakah they go to many maqams, many shrines of holy people, righteous pious people in the way of the love of Sayyidina Muhammad Why? Because the Muhammadiyun light is there. What made them? to be ashiqeen is that their self died and what existed was the love of Sayyidina Muhammad And then what does that mean? That the love of Sayyidina Muhammad means what? You're now in the presence of a light in which he died and his presence is what? Allah why? Because this is the servant whom Allah called Abd Allah, Abd Allah. This is the whole concept. You draw near to the shaykh because of his Muhammadan light and who he loves. Because you'll be with whom you love. If you love Sayyidina Muhammad then you'll be with them. And when you draw near to the love of Sayyidina Muhammad He's the master of this fana that he gave himself away a long time ago in which he doesn't exist and all that exists within him is the ishq of Allah in its purity, in its purified state that whatever uh, insan can achieve of that love then that Muhammadan reality represents that. So actually when you're drawing near to Prophet you are drawing near to Allah قُلْ لِنِي كُنْتُمْ تُوْهِبُونَ اللَّهِ فَتَبِيُونِي وَيُحِبُّكُمُ اللَّهِ Allah is giving us that you can't really come to me like that. You haven't been cleaned, you don't even know where you're directing yourself. Come to the one whom knows where I am, knows my love, knows what I want. He came to Qawba Qawsaini wa Adana. He's a guided Prophet in which he saw his reality and he understood he's at Qawbu Qawsaini wa Adana, at two bow lengths or near, move into his presence. Then I will love you. So people keep making as if the, this is a separate, that why are you drawing near to Prophet why you don't draw near to Allah Because they didn't understand the system. They think we're going somewhere else. Because they, th they think Allah is somewhere that they're going to find. 
And Allah just said, no I'm not on earth, I'm not on heaven, I'm in the heart of my believer. You look and went to the wrong place. You went to some place looking for Allah where is that place? It's not beyond, it's beyond our even comprehension, comprehension that we're from creation. So the most that we can go is within creation. You can't leave creation to get to Allah So Allah directed you to the nucleus and said, I'm not in heaven, what heaven are you thinking about? There's a heaven outside of creation or heaven is also creation? It's been created. Allah's not sitting there. Because then Allah is confined within creation, that can't be logical. That what He created He went into and that can contain Allah No, heavens is for us, Allah is the owner and the power for everything. But Allah gave to us, not in heaven, not on earth but I'm in the heart of my believer. If you understood then the believer is called Sayyidina Muhammad and qalb al-mu'min baytullah and that his heart is the house of Allah Then you understood by drawing near to Prophet with ishq and love you have drawn near now to Allah's favours and Allah's proximity and Allah's dress and ni'mat and, and, and Divine gifts and realities. <clears throat> That's why we don't argue with these people. <clears throat> people who want to come back and make it like it's something else. That you're going towards Prophet and that we're going towards Allah So no, it's because of your ignorance and childish behaviour. I don't understand what you think Allah where in Allah is. That you can leave the abode of creation is impossible. So Allah gave us the adab that if you want me, follow Sayyidina Muhammad And if you follow with this love, with this good character, Allah said, I'm going to love you. And then Qafur Rahim and I'm going to forgive you. Means then we're drawing near to that presence of Divinely love. That's what all these awliyaullah are seeking of that Divinely love and that Divinely service. And Allah granted for them, bring people back up into these paradise and heavenly realities with these majlis. These majlis of Salli ala nabi the majlises of Zikrullah that bring people to a state of love. Through their teachings they must open the hearts of people. Not to aggravate and agitate the hearts of people, not to be combative and confrontive with people, not to call people kufar, not to be name tagging and making conspiracies but to get the hearts of people to be opened. And as a result of their heart opening, they're finding their peace, then the soul is free. The soul makes the bond, the soul makes the connection. And the rest is the ride into paradise, a dress, a light, a blessings. And what type of blessings, what type of lights in this world of light are being conveyed? Because only now they can understand light. That when your soul is, is going on that ship and you're sitting in a majlis that one hour of tafakkur is like 70 years of worshipness. Right? So what Einstein understood that if you went and travelled at the speed of light and came back it probably would be 70 years has passed upon this earth in time. The speed of time. If you travelled at the speed of time and went on a ship, came back, 70 years passed on this earth. But we're talking about a speed faster than the speed of time, the speed of thought. With what kind of speed is that? 
means that when that ship moves into the presence of the Divine the Presence, in the, the presence of Allah's power, in the presence of the heart of Sayyidina Muhammad what transpired in those one hour, half hour, two hour, three hour zikrs? What type of lights, what type of realities, what type of, of, of blessings were dressed upon those lights and within that three hours these people came back? What was gifted upon their souls? What realms did they enter? How long have they been in that realm? Because anything that enters the rules of paradise, anything that enters paradise can never leave paradise. So means that five minutes in their association, this is Shaykh Daghestani Sultanul Awliya described that if you sit just in from their majlises, they would give out these haqqaiqs, just five minutes in in my association, I'll dress you from my station. How? Because it only takes him five seconds to reach to the heart of five minutes to be in the heart of Sayyidina Muhammad with the entire majlis. So of course they're all going to be dressed because they're not coming through that door, they're coming through the door of Sultanul Awliya. So wherever he's sitting in the presence of Prophet and his ruhaniyat, he got the trust that all of them will be dressed by that reality, blessed by that reality. So it means this world of light, this world of malakut and that the world of light it is the power for the world of form. The one whom has power in the world of light is kulli shay, that his power all is all encompassing over the world of form. But the one whom seeks only the power of the world of form is empty and has nothing because form by itself is going. They spent their lives on, on mastering the form, the wealth of the form. But the one who achieved wealth within his soul and power within his soul has dominion over everything of Allah What's Surah Yaseen Subhana ladhi bi yadihi mulk wa kulli shay bi yadihi mulk You don't know it either? <laughs> you say I forgot it. Subhana ladhi bi yadihi malakut kulli shay wa ilayhi Malakut kulli shay kulli shay kulli shay fa malakut the glory be to the hand that reached that reality that Allah giving His Subhan upon that. The glory be to the hand that reached to this malakut, why? Because He's kulli shay. It's not a description for Allah Allah doesn't describe His malakut, He owns all of these things. But glory be because Surah Yaseen is the heart of Prophet is the heart of Qur'an and is the heart in which the awliya are all moving into that reality. So then the people of this malakut, if they're reaching into these oceans of power, Allah is describing kulli shay, that their power encompasses everything. We pray that Allah dress us from the world of light, dress us from these big ashiqeen, the holy companions, the Ahlul Bayt, the lovers of Sayyidina Muhammad Awliyaullah fi samahi wa fil ard, inshaAllah Subhana rabbika rabbal izzata man yasifoon. Wa salaamun al mursaleen wa hamdulillahi rabbil alameen wa hurmati Muhammad al Mustafa wa bi siri Surat al Fatiha. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. This is Shaykh Nurjan. Thank you for watching the video that you're watching. InshaAllah, if you're happy with the content and happy with these programs, please support the button below the programs that we have for our orphanage repairs, our water well, give the gift of life, our mobile food vans. We have now five vans, Vancouver, Chicago, Los Angeles, Pakistan. There's many programs that reach thousands of people and rescue foods and give those supplies to people in need. Your support is greatly appreciated. Also, be so kind as to leave uh, loving comments and please share the stream. Every bit counts. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.